moving forward uh, it's uh, it's the time for the last talk of this meetup and let's just get ready because whenever jason is you know in the meetup he always has some really interesting wonderful stuff to teach us so not going to take more of the more of jason's time and jason the floor is all yours thanks a lot um every time that i come in here and uh and uh, you uh, introduced me. I, I feel less and less like I'm actually prepared to, <laughs> to meet up the expectations that are coming out. And I also noticed that I think I need to update my photo um, that you have on on the screen there. I'm I, I look far too young and energetic compared to what I am now. So today, um, I was giving some thought earlier on the last couple of weeks as to what to talk about and. Uh, one of the things that I've been starting to experience is we, we we go in, we do a lot of this building up of automations to make usually somebody else's life easier. And what ends up happening is that they, you know, we've got all this stuff in place. And now what we end up doing is we have this other process that we've taken away from them and it kind of lands with us. So I thought, why don't we do a little bit of a presentation on pushing that back to them? So what I've done is I'm just going to share my screen here um, is I have uh, uh, put together this wonderful little uh, any then workflow. And so the scenario here is we have somebody who has uh, um, th they've got this shopping list that once a week, somebody goes out and, and gets all, uh, picks up all these items in an office. And uh, so the, the, uh, the person who's managing this came to, came to me and said, hey, you know what, is there a way that we can just, you know, have a, an easy way to add this information in so that people can go in and, and uh, put information into the system. And then once a week, the, the, the list gets emailed to the person that needs to send it out. And we said, sure, no problem. So what we did is we set up in base row, a nice little shopping list, and it's just whatever you need. And then uh, from base row, because base row is kind of nice for this, um, it's created a nice little form that's just inherent, built right into base row. There's nothing that, we haven't even touched any then at this point. And so it's, you can go in here, you can put in you know whatever you want. It doesn't care, you hit submit, and it just shows up in your list. So pretty straightforward, nothing really rocket science, science there. And then we set up a cron node to every, uh, every week on Friday at 1400 hours, it'll fire it off. It will go, it'll pull that list in, for, format it properly, and then send an email out to the person. And uh, I think we've got this going to uh, tom at example.com. Uh, who's receiving this, and they get the list of all the things that are that they get. So pretty straightforward. But now here's this one less task to do. Fantastic. Well, of course, anything that's good is not good enough. And your boss comes to you and goes, "Hey, that's great, but you know what? Tom's not going to be in on uh, Friday, so we need to change that email address." So he uh, he calls you up and and says that you know we need that changed. And say, so, okay, who's going to do it? Oh, wait, a I'm not really sure. Let me go and find out. Calls you back an hour later. Says, oh, yeah, it's going to be Bill. Bill's going to do it. Okay, fantastic. What's Bill's email address? Oh, I'll get back to you. So all of this is just taking up your time, wasting your time, quite frankly. So I thought, why don't we just take this to the next level? So we added in this little bit here at the bottom. And essentially what, we, what I did is I created, we were talking about forms earlier. I created a little form, and that's just this little piece here. And what it does is it creates a, and of course, I, I cannot see the rest of my tabs because of the tab bar at the top. Let me just move that aside. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, so that form looks like this. And it's a change, change shopper form. And, and along with that, we've created a shopper table. So this is the piece where instead of now embedding the configuration inside of AnyDen, so that if I want to pass that work off to somebody else, I'd have to go in 
and I would have to uh, give them access to NADN. We've actually got it stored in this database. And when they come into here, so this is the form that we've set up. And again, this all runs from this little workflow right here. And all it does is it gathers the information when the, when the form is submitted, um, it gets the, the present shopper and that allows it to show who the present shopper is here. And then it just, the last node generates the form and it spits it out as HTML. And that produces this for us. So the other piece to that is the second one where the second web flow, uh, uh, sorry, web hook grabs that information when it's posted, it gets the former shopper uh, information and then sets the new shopper information. And the reason it gets this is because it's gonna overwrite that, that record. It then writes that record to the uh, database and, say, and it uh, creates the response page, which is just another HTML page. So when I go into here and we say, okay, it's going to be Bill is going to be the person who is uh, going to be doing the shopping this week. And we hit a submit. There we go. So now Bill Fold is going shopping. And we will notice here now, Bill is the person who is going to be doing the work. So in order to make this work, all we have to do is add one extra thing in here. And right here, we're gonna add ourselves an extra node and we're just gonna add another base row node. And we'll grab our credentials and we are going to uh, uh, grab from the office shopping list, the shopper, and we're just gonna return the single one. And when we do this, you'll see that it will, well, of course, I always, oh, no, we're, we're good. So now it's got Bill's information. A quick change here to an expression. Let's delete this. I'm going to grab the data from the previous node. And now you see it's Bill who's going to be doing the shopping. So now instead of the manager calling me up and saying, oh, we got to do all this stuff and we got to make all this work and, you know, calling me back three times because he doesn't have all his ducks in a row. Uh, all we do is just say, hey, all you need to do now is go to this form, you give him that URL and everything gets done. So I think this has a lot of implications doing this type of work and setting things up this way, a lot of implications for our sanity as automators and our sanity as people who are managing this infrastructure. It allows the user to have the flexibility to do various different things within certain realms. And it eliminates those, you know, those little interruptions, you know, because the interruptions are really what kills your day. Uh, they say that a single interruption will take you about 20 minutes to get back um, on track after you've gone and uh, gotten off track. So, this here, if, if he has to call you three times, you've just saved yourself an hour of effort. So you can take that extra long lunch break, which is what really counts. And that's it. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, again, it's not super rocket science, but it's, I think it's something that can, you know, looking at, I know how hard all of you guys have to work. I think it can make a big difference for you. And I'll just send that back over to Arshel.